It is now 2024 and let's do something that I love to do and that is predict and see what is trending for the new year. So now that we have begun this journey in 2024, let's see what the fashion trends are and these are going to be the wearable trends. So I have been looking at all of the runways and just seeing what is new and trendy for 2024. So today I'm going to give you just kind of like a top 10 of the new fashion trends and these are some that are wearable of course on the runway they're very exaggerated and you can always play those down in the real world or for streetwear so i just want to give you my 10 that i'm really excited about for 2024 so let's get started <music> First thing that I want to mention is the peplum trend. So this is something that I wear all the time because I think it's a very flattering silhouette and I just think that it's flattering for all body types. And you're not just seeing them in tops, you're also seeing them in jackets and also in skirts as well. So the peplum style is very on trend and you're going to see a lot of tops in spring and summer of 2024 with this peplum style along with the mini skirts that have that peplum design as well. So this is definitely one that's very wearable and I can get on board with because it's such a flattering style. So, you know, there's always one color that stands out as being the color of this season. And for spring and summer 2024, it's gonna be the color blue. So you're seeing that all over the runway and it's not just a specific tone of blue. We're talking everywhere from a powder blue pastel, which is gonna be very pretty for spring and summer. Gonna go along with all your pastel palettes. And then also we're talking about the turquoises and the very beautiful rich blues, like the royal blues, even into the navy blues. So all of the blue tones are gonna to be so on trend for this coming season. And you can incorporate that with all of your spring and summer looks, and then that will follow through into fall and winter. So any of the colors of blue are gonna be so on trend and you're gonna see them in all of your popular retailers. Number three is gonna be metallics. So we're not just talking about metallics as far as in your clothing, but also in your accessories as well. So actually for the last year, I've really been loving metallic accessories. I've been picking up some handbags in different kind of metallics. So last year it was more leaning toward the silver metallic and this year it's supposed to lean more toward gold metallics. So I don't really wear the metallic clothing pieces even though I think they look absolutely beautiful on people. You're seeing it on the runway in skirts, some really nice metallic thread skirts also in your tops as well, but I like to incorporate this trend in my accessories, especially my handbags. So you could just carry a metallic handbag, be following the trends, but keep a more casual, basic, streamlined look in your clothing. Belt bags is number four on the list of things I wanted to discuss today. And I'm really excited about this because I've been wearing belt bags for years but now they are very trendy and they're very popular. You're seeing all of your celebrities wearing them and you're just seeing them out and about. Now, you can wear a belt bag any way that you want to. I used to wear it around my waist, but then recently I've been wearing it more as a crossbody sling bag style. And that's the way that you're gonna see it more often. And there's different belt bags that are very fashionable. You can go all the way from the everyday bag from Lululemon, all the way up to your patent leather, which is a very popular trend as well. Not one I'm gonna discuss in detail, but that's really something that you're seeing a lot in handbags and shoes is more of that patent style this year. But you can also wear your faux leather belt bags, all the way up to your very expensive Louis Vuitton belt bag if you want. I love the belt bag because you can fit a lot of stuff in there, look fashionable, be hands-free, and not have anything big and bulky. So that is a trend that I'm really excited that is going full swing into 2024. Number five is gonna be leggings. And I know you're saying, well, leggings haven't went anywhere. Leggings have always been on trend, but we're talking about elevating the look a little bit and not just pairing it with your regular oversized sweatshirt or your athletic gear. These leggings are gonna be more elevated, maybe with some heels, knee high boots, or also with some blazers. I think that's a really classic look. So your faux leather leggings that were so popular years back, bring them back and style them differently with maybe some knit blazers 
or a classic blazer. So the leggings are really making a comeback, but not as your more athletic and casual style, but more of a dressier style with vests and blazers with some really elevated looks. So we're not talking about tennis shoes with them as well. We're also talking about boots, either combat boots, knee high boots, or any kind of heels even heeled boots, just really nice. That look is an elevated look. So you're gonna be able to wear your leggings just in a different way than the what you've been previously wearing as a more lounge wear. These are more of a dressier style and an elevated look this year. So number six is kind of like a play on a staple that has been very on trend for years, a classic piece. And that's the trench coat, but your trend for 2024 is the satin trench coat. And I'm really excited about this because they are showing some really beautiful colors. Of course, you have your Burberry that is a really classic, nice satin trench, but they're also very affordable options. And you can go from the regular length of a trench coat all the way down to the more longer line trench coats. Very popular. You're seeing them all over the runway. And I just think that this is a very nice wearable trend because it's just elevating that trench coat just a little bit by giving it that satin material. You can choose a neutral palette or you can go all the way to really bright and bold colors as well. So the satin trench is a really nice trend that is coming up for spring and summer 2024. And it's gonna follow through to fall and winter as well. So you can get those really beautiful pastel colors for spring and summer if you wanna do that or the more neutral classic colors. But I am really excited about this satin trench coat because it's just a little bit of a play on a classic and you're just giving it a little bit more of a dressier appeal. So number seven on the list, we were seeing a little bit last year with the matching sets, but that is still going to be something you're gonna to continue to see for 2024. And that ranges from all the way from casual to dressier. So you can get your matching blazer and pants set, a really nice wide leg or more of the crop style and a matching blazer. And that is a really cute professional look. But if you're more of a casual dresser, then you have that casual option to just have that matching top and the matching bottom. But again, that can go all the way up to your more dressier items. And that even carries through to denim, matching denim on denim. It also carries through to leather, matching your leather on leather. So a leather top with some leather pants is also very trendy as well. So anything that matches, no matter what the material is, that is something that you have been seeing and it's gonna continue through 2024 as well. So number eight is the preppy style. So think of your pleated skirts and your collared button up shirts with the sweater over top of it. So if you are a J. Crew, Banana Republic, Ralph Lauren fan, this is a style that you're gonna really get on board with this year, and that is that preppy look. And we're not talking about strictly preppy. You can mix and match regular basic pieces with your preppier pieces, but that's definitely a style that we have seen all over the runway. And I'm kind of excited about it because I do like that little bit of a preppy look. So the preppy country club look is definitely coming back, but more so in a subtle way and not so in your face. So probably my favorite trend that I'm gonna be discussing with you today is number nine, and that is a cinched blazer. I love blazers of any kind, always have. You have your classic blazers that are just your regular single button blazer in neutral colors that are always in your closet as a staple piece. But we've also seen the trend of the more oversized boyfriend blazers. But the boyfriend blazers are still there, but what you're seeing more of and what the trends are going more toward this year are a cinched blazer. So I'm not talking about a crop blazer and I'm also not talking about a very slim fit blazer, more of a cinch. One that may be belted or just kind of cinched in at the waist is really nice. So your boyfriend blazers are still there. They still look really nice. Not the very overstated blazers, but your boyfriend blazers are still there and they're still going into 2024 as a trend, but you're also seeing more of the cinched blazers and the more slim fit blazers, not tight fitting or anything like that, but still these are some that you can get and carry through to either casual looks or more dressier looks. So this is really exciting for me because I love a blazer. So any type of blazer I am on board with except those very overstated big shoulder pad blazers. And there are a lot more trends that you're seeing on the runway, but I wanted to narrow down the more wearable ones and kind of the trends that were there last year that have evolved a little bit this year or some classic pieces that are just getting a little bit elevated. So number 10 is gonna be vests. So we have always 
worn vest. The sports kind of vest, the quilted vest, they've always been very popular and always in your closet. But this year, you're seeing on the runway a little bit more of a dressier vest. So kind of like the vest that you think of with menswear, the like menswear inspired vests, the very button up, close to the body, that you could layer under a blazer. Those are the vests that are very popular. All kinds of vests, still your sports vest, your quilted vest, your faux fur vest, any of those vests are still very popular, but it's just being elevated a little bit by incorporating the more dressier vests as well. So vests are definitely there. Maybe even something that you have in your closet and you can incorporate that trend and pair it with some other things to even incorporate some of the other trends that you're seeing as well. Okay guys, that concludes the top 10 wearable trends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.